Welcome to Selling Power's Daily Report. Your most important salespeople is not your sales force, it's your customers. And that the people who are really growing are the ones who do what I call flipping the funnel. And in my new book, I have a little essay on this. And what flipping the funnel is about is it says, you're used to thinking of the world as a funnel, and especially if you're a salesperson. What salespeople say is, let me dump a whole bunch of people in at the top. Now, my funnel's a little leaky, but I'm working at that. And by the time they get at the bottom, the few that come out, I'll make a commission on. And what I need to do all day, get more prospects in the top. Make more cold calls, get more warm leads, figure out how to make my funnel less leaky so I can make money at the bottom. And the problem with the funnel is if you want to grow, most of the people you need to sell to have already bought from you. So there's a problem, which is that you're running out of people to put in the top of the funnel. The people who are willing to listen to you, the people who are willing to take the call, the people who are warm, they're drying up. What if we took that funnel and turned it on its side and make it not a funnel, but a megaphone and hand the megaphone to the people who already love us? Now, if they all have a megaphone and they're all chiming in about how great the sales guy is at, at this Dodge dealership or how wonderful the salesperson is at that hospital crib company, suddenly the warm leads start to multiply. And warm is critical because cold doesn't work as well as it used to. But warm, people are giving you permission, goes up. So where does the megaphone live? The megaphone lives largely online, but also offline. So there's websites like Flickr and Delicious and Dig and um, Furl. And all of these sites, and Squidoo, all of these sites are organized around a human being, a real person, telling a story about a product or an idea or a company or a salesperson. And if you show up in those places, people find you. So if you type 1978 New York Yankees into Google, you will not end up on George Steinbrenner's website. You will end up on Squidoo. And on Squidoo, there's a page, a lens, built by a person who's a Yankees fan telling a story about the 1978 New York Yankees. And it's right next to 29,999 others just like it on every imaginable topic, on anything you can imagine from Tupperware to professional wrestling. So what you have the opportunity to do now, if you hurry, is to go to the people you already have permission to talk to and say, here's a megaphone. Here's a place you can do it online. Here's a bumper sticker for your car. Here's a bunch of business cards you can hand out to your friends with coupons in them. Here's all the things you can do that will help you and your friends. I'm not paying you cash. I'm not trying to pin this thing here. What I'm saying to you is, if you like my massages, here's 10 coupons. Give them to your friends, free massage. One per customer, new customers only. No strings attached, no hard sell. When they come in, I'll give them a massage. If they like it, they'll come back. And so what we see at restaurants, at consulting firms, at people who take the rust off of steel boats, at any kind of company, at nonprofits, and most of all, at religions, we're seeing exactly the same thing. That's how they spread. The Mormon religion is the fastest growing religion in the history of the United States. And they don't do it with TV commercials, and they don't do it with paid salespeople. They do it with teams of one or two or three who are walking up and down the streets talking to people they know because they want to.